And the National Association of Nigerian Maritime Students, a Southwest Zone, has hosted the inaugural Maritime Students Leadership and Security Summit. The event's theme, Repositioning Maritime Education Through Effective Leadership, Security and the Adoption of New Technology, aim to enhance the skills and capabilities of maritime students and cadets for the challenges ahead. Our correspondent Paul George reports. Nigerian maritime students and industry experts gathered at the summit to address the challenges facing students and explore ways to improve the sector. Comrade Temitokwe Omotayo, the Southwest Zonal Coordinator of the National Association of Nigerian Maritime Students, underscores the importance of this convening. Um, the significance of the program is to foster and First time of collaboration with stakeholders in the maritime sector, they should know that there is a need for repositioning maritime students in, in terms of effective leaderships and um, security aspects in adoption to new technologies. We brought different maritime stakeholders, their expertise and professionals in the industry so that they can talk to the students and enlighten them more on what and what they need to know. In a keynote address, Superintendent May Lafia Magaji, representing Comptroller P.K. Bamishaye of the Western Marine Command in Lagos, stated that education must utilize technology to keep pace with global best practices. There are uh, four pillars of um, uh, leadership and we have to adopt it even in the maritime uh, sector. There, ha there needs to be integrity, there needs to be accountability, there needs to be learning, and there needs to be communication. The most important thing is that it should be practical, the, it should be simulation-based. We have to develop those concepts so that uh, we change the nature of um, the maritime education in Nigeria. <laughs> Theodora Nweze, an expert human resources manager at LTT Coastal and Marine Services, urged the government to invest in upgrading Nigerian maritime students. She noted that Nigeria has the necessary resources and personnel to improve the maritime sector. If you are training 2,005 um, cadets every year, you take them outside the country, and when they are back, you don't even have the platform for them to go on the vessel. If we can use that amount of fund to reform our own maritime institute, I don't think we need any of taking our cadets outside the country. The government should look at it in another area where this set of cadets, when they are coming back to Nigeria, they are going into the teaching industry. It will also increase our revenue. At the end, the students express their satisfaction at having gained new insights. Paul George, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.